Hi, this is Michelle. Welcome to my channel. Of course, first off, I would like to thank everyone who watches my videos, likes my videos, subscribes, leaves me feedback, leaves me comments. It is appreciated. I thank you very much. Today, I am doing an unboxing and a comparison of the Dooney and Burke uh, Florentine satchels. Uh, today, previously I had done uh, a comparison of the Nano and the Micro Satchel. Today, I'm doing a comparison of the Nano, the Micro, and the Mini Satchel. And this is the Mini Satchel that I am referring to. Uh, the color is a crew. Uh, of course, it's Florentine leather. Uh, let me come close so that I can show you. Now, most people should be aware of these satchels even though the nano the micro and the mini are the newest um newest uh bags to the florentine satchel uh collection i believe these are the newest ones um so this is let me just do what i do so this is the front this is the side it's the standard uh, set up for the Florentine my Florentine satchels. This is the back. This is the other side. And this is the bottom. Four feet. Now, I picked this one up on the Dooney and Burke website. They were having a great sale. I'd say about maybe a month, month and a half ago. Um, I have another one. I actually have two more of these. I have, and both of them um, I picked up on eBay. One is in the um, moss color, uh, but it had an oil stain on the front, which I was aware of. Uh, and then the other, I think is black, uh, done in the black Florentine. So I wanted something um, in a color that I did not have in the Florentine, in my Florentine satchel uh, collection, which is why I chose the, I chose this color. So, of course, you have the uh, brushed gold tone hardware. Like I said, you have all of the belting, the beautiful contrasting stitching. Let me, yeah, let the camera focus. And then, of course, the, the brushed gold toned hardware. Uh, the Dooney patch or logo, of course your tassels with the green suede. I mean these bags are just so beautifully done. And of course the um, uh, the braided uh, handles done in the brown tomorrow. Let's see if the camera will focus. Probably because it's trying to focus on me. There we go. And the red zipper tape. With the beautiful holes right here. Everything's nicely done. Nothing's fraying. It's just a really, really beautiful bag. Now, like I said, I have the micro. And then let me just come back. There we go. And just comparing the mini to the micro. And let's see. And I do have the measurements for all of these bags, but you can see just how much larger the mini is to the micro. The depth is about the same. And like I said, I have the uh, measurements. So the depth for both the micro and the mini are about the same. I guess uh, the way to do it would be this way so that you can see. And I think the height for the micro and the mini are about the same. No, take that back. <laughs> but there they are together. Then, of course, I also have the Nano. 
compared to the mini and it's on, it's just over half the width of the uh, micro micro the nano so you see these and I'm going to step back because I want to get them both in the same frame and you can really see just how the difference in the size there we go the difference in the size between the two and the color on this I believe is slate the color on this is fuchsia and of course the color on this is acre okay and then I just wanted to show one more comparison also have the Dooney and Burke and actually I believe it's the same color the Dooney and Burke uh, I believe this is the tassel shoulder bag and believe it or not um, it's pretty much the same uh, setup it's just that the shoulder tassel bag does not have any of the, the uh, buckling the buckle detail it doesn't have any of that it still has the tassels and of course it is a shoulder bag this does not come with the crossbody strap where of course this one does um, and of course it has a shorter handle so uh, but just wanted to give you a comparison for that and bring it back because I believe these are the same color. Whoop, have it backwards. These are the same color. This is a little smaller. I think this is more in line with the micro. Let me show you. Yeah, this is more in line with the micro. Mm -hmm. I believe they are at the exact length and they may have let's see if I can do this yep see the same depth mm -hmm. yep so if you rather have a shoulder bag instead of this style the satchel style this is a good option and I actually also have this in the pebble leather I carried it last week it's a really nice carry really really nice carry and it does have feet for those who want to know okay so let me give you the measurements of all of First, let's start off with the mini. The mini is, here we go. The mini is 11.7 uh, inches high, or long, I'm sorry, 11, point, 11 and 3 quarters long, 7 inches high, 5 and a half inches deep. This weighs 2 pounds, 4 ounces. Uh, it does come with the crossbody strap, which is 19 inches long. And the handle is four inches. So that's the mini. And the micro, and this is for people who haven't seen my previous video on both the micro and the nano. Um, and I'll try to link those videos below. But um, if, it's your, if it's your first time watching me, I'm just going to go ahead and give you the measurements. So the micro is 10, 10 inches long, seven inches high five and a half inches deep it weighs two pounds two ounces the handle is four and a half and the strap because it does come with the crossbody strap is 23 inches long and then last but not least the nano <laughs> this is such a cute bag it is eight and a half inches long uh five and a half inches high five deep 
it's a really good capacity even though it's such a small bag uh, and the it does come with a crossbody strap and that's 24 and a half inches long it weighs one pound 11 ounces so let me show you what fits in the mini and like I said this is a new bag for me I just didn't unbox it um, it's just too much for me to do an unboxing because um, these bags come you know uh, very well uh, wrapped um, there's a lot of stuff that you have to take off of these bags um, so to save time and I'm not the type of person to fast forward through it so um, to save time I just take it all off before I start uh, the video now what I'm going to do is come forward I am this is the bag that I am carrying today this is the um, fry Ella flap shoulder bag uh, it is done in uh, a black distressed leather beautiful bag and I will be doing a video on this because I have two I have this one in black and then I have another one in natural but this is the bag that I'm carrying today I'm just bringing my pieces up now this is a nice size bag the mini um, it'll carry for me it'll carry everything that um, I need uh, on a particular day I'm just going to bring the camera down I have it pretty tight so let's see it may yeah let's see hopefully I had to bring it down too far <laughs> okay great this is good and then hopefully you can get some light in there so that you can see and actually let me just come forward Oh, good. So, um, just want to show the show you the interior. Of course, it has the green suede on either side, on either side of the pan, either side of each panel, and then on the back wall you have the uh, zipper pocket, and then you have a slip pocket below it, and then on the other wall, I believe, yeah, you just have a slip pocket it doesn't have the double pocket set up for this uh, of course it comes with the key keeper and the bag the rest of the bag is done in the red cotton lining and all of the pockets um, are collared with the same color leather that's on the exterior of the bag and like I said, it's a nice size bag. Okay. So, good. This is the bag, right? I'm just going to put that out. Now first, let me show you. Because I keep all my paperwork in the bag. My registration card and all of that. Actually, yeah. Just gonna put that in here. Okay. In the zipper pocket. So that I know where I can find it. Now, like I said, you have two slip pockets and the one on the back, the one on the front wall will fit my phone. Right there. And the one below the zipper pocket, yeah, that'll fit my phone also. And my phone is an iPhone um, 11. So that will fit. And like I said, I want to show you what I normally carry. So uh, this is my Michael Kors uh, small pouch. That easily goes in and then 
I never close this. I always keep this open. My Michael Kors medium pouch. And for a lot of people, they have this, you know, one of the things about the satchel is the opening, you know, how challenging it is for, to get your items in. With this one, the opening is pretty good. So, um, as you, as you saw, I can get my pieces in. And here is my Michael Kors, uh, wallet. And just for reference, I think this wallet is about seven, seven and a half inches long. Same thing with the medium pouch, because I believe the medium pouch, yep, yep. Uh, the medium pouch and my wallet are about the same uh, length. So I'm gonna say it's about seven and a half inches uh, long, just to give you a point of reference. And then of course the uh, medium, the small pouch is uh, smaller. So that should, hopefully you can see that, how everything fits in there. And then I have some other pieces. Let's see, let's go with this. My Junian Burke large Carrington pouch. fit and my Dunian Burke uh, large foam wristlet color is Clementine that will fit and you still have a lot of room and let's see I think that's that's good. I think that is, what is this? Oh. And then I have my, I think this is called the Dunienberg Zip Around Wallet. That will fit. And again, I still have room. Still have plenty of room. It zips up. Folds down. this back in. Okay. <laughs> it zips up. No distortions. Like I said, you know, I think five and a half inches deep, you have a lot of capacity um, on these bags. So uh, it's going to fit uh, most of the things that you would need uh, for the day. So let me show you how this looks on me. Oh, it's looking for the strap. <laughs> it's like, where did I put the strap? Okay. So I'm just going to bring the camera around because I want to show you how it looks. Uh, let me bring it up a bit. I want to show you how it looks on the crook of the arm and it does go all the way back at least on my arm it will go all the way back that's how it looks and then now the strap on this is it looks like it is just a crossbody strap it's not the type of strap where you can uh, adjust it to a short shoulder so it has it looks like it has five adjustments yeah five adjustments on this sorry and you just attach it to the d-rings on the side And for reference, I am 5'9", 5'8", 5'9". And I am going to bring this down a bit. The handles do fold down. Let me see. And that 
is how it looks as a crossbody. Now I have it, I think it's on the middle, uh, the uh, second, third from the longest setting on the strap. So I could make it longer and I could make it shorter. But uh, this length isn't bad for me. It's right here. My hip is right here. So it's just above my hip. It's like really at my waist. But there it is. I think I addressed everything. And hopefully you're picking up the color. Because it's uh it is um uh, it's like an off-white color with a hint of gray. Um it's not a true I don't think I have an off-white. Yes, I do. It's not from It's not from uh, Dooney though. This is Coach. So that, because I know I, sometimes I get questions about uh, bags like this. You know, this color, this grayish color. A lot of times, depending on the lighting, you can't really pick up uh, the color of the bag. So hopefully that'll give you uh, a true uh, look or look of just the amount of gray that's in this color. It's not a dark gray. It's not a dove gray. It's super, super light. Like I said, it's just a hint of gray in this color. Now this is ivory. This is called ivory, but it's really cream. It's like a, uh, uh, off-white cream bag, a little bit more yellow in the color. But hopefully you can see um, the distinction between the um, two colors. Or it'll just give you a better idea of the color of this bag. So let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. As I always say, <laughs> uh, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free. Uh, let me know if um, you also have this bag. I know a lot of people um, have uh, this bag, definitely in different sizes. Um, some people have the older version, which I believe were made better. Um, but um, the quality of this bag, of the newer bags, are still really, really high. So, um, But if you do have this bag, let me know what type, you know, what size, what color you know, when you picked it up, if it's newer or older, you know, that would be great. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.